and now contributing editor, the lovely Meryl Marco, with a special report on self-help self -help books for women. Thanks, Annabelle. You know, you have the best hair of any news personality, except John Chancellor, I guess. <laughs> well, this year we have really seen a lot of these women's self-help therapy books, you know, with the long, confusing titles, Men Who Hate Women and the Women Who Love Them, Women Who Love Too Much, Women, who, women Men Love, Women Men Leave. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> Anyway, many women have read one of these books, and many have read more than one of these books, but my first guest, Jennifer, you have actually read all of these books? Yes, I, I read all 143 self-help books. <laughs> and why would you put yourself through something like that? Well, like all the women in all these books, I, I was from a dysfunctional family. I had problems with drugs and alcohol. I low, low self-esteem. And this led me to uh, abusive relationships with the wrong men. Hmm. And, and this led you to reading? Oh, sure. <laughs> Well, you have to do something to fill the time between bad dates and drinking. <laughs> the problem with reading all these books about addiction is that I, I became addicted to the books, um, which has led me to the most deadly syndrome of all, self-help therapy book addiction. <laughs> and, and what do you do to break that sort of a cycle? I wrote a book. <laughs> Hooked on Hell. Now, Debbie, this must sound familiar to you. You've also read all 143 of these books? No, Meryl, I've read all 158 of these books. I'm afraid you missed some. I'm also afraid that my story is far more tragic than hers. You see, I was from a very, very dysfunctional family. I had very, very low self-esteem. I had a very, very bad problem with drugs and alcohol, which led me into very, very destructive relationships with very, very bad men. I don't think putting two varies in front of her problems makes her problems worse than my problems. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for sharing that with me. So anyway, I was able to carve out quite a lucrative career for myself on TV talk shows as a good example of, you know, a bad example. For example, I was on Oprah as a woman who loved too much. I turned that down. I was on Geraldo as a woman men love, women men leave. I was on Sally Jesse Raphael as a woman men wish that they'd left if only they had the bus fare. She's overexposed. <laughs> so finally, I realized that I was a victim of the very, very worst syndrome of them all. Talk show book promotion dependency syndrome. <laughs> Well, what, what do you do to break that cycle? Well, I too wrote a book, Hooked on Whining. <laughs> That's very, very interesting. Thank you. That's nothing. <laughs> it's not? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I thought it was. No. <laughs> now, Nancy, this must sound very familiar to you. You also read all 158 of these books? 205. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, these women only get depressed in English. <laughs> now, uh, this is very interesting, but my story is a little different from theirs. I'm from a dysfunctional family. You see, and I had very low self-esteem. I had a problem with drugs and alcohol, and that led me to really destructive relationships with not just the wrong men, with everybody. My parents, the people at work. I had house pets that were abusive to me. Dogs, cats. Fish. Excuse me. I did all those things. I read all the books. I went on talk shows as a bad example. I wrote a book myself about complaining and overeating, whining and dining. <laughs> help you junkie mm -hmm. and uh, what what did, what did you end up doing I mean all of you women seem to have problems that are related to an addiction to self-help therapy in one way what, what's the answer I found the answer by mistake uh, I met a guy oh so you met a good man finally who a rotten man I was on tour I was uh, on uh, the Donahue show and I met a man who was there as an example of men who hate women and the women who make their lunch <laughs> I know this guy, Ken. Ken, what a loser. Yes, but I got so wrapped up in his problems, I didn't have time to worry about my own. Oh, that is such a great idea. You mean you just pick an inadequate man and then you concentrate on him instead of yourself. Oh. You know, 
but probably if you could slip back into drugs and alcohol, that would oh, be Oh, sure, good. because there are clinics for that kind of thing. Yeah, that's a piece of cake, which can also be a large addiction, but the self-help therapy, there's no help for this, this right, addiction to the so self-help therapy. Ladies, thing. I want to thank you all for being here tonight. You know, it's been really a treat. We have to sit down! I have low self-esteem. I was from a dysfunctional family, and I am sick of authors who blow in here and dump all their problems on me, and then they're off. They're on tour. And I want to invite you all to read my book about it, Authors Who Tour, Authors Who Leave. Back to you, Annabelle. Well, thank you, Meryl. We'll be right back after this.